November 15th. This is your number one news source for Brown Elementary. The opening video was another creation by the a Content Creators Club. These clubs are coming to an end, but there will be more Creators Club clubs later this year. Did you try to create a tower of quirks in the IDC? Many have tried, many have failed. To match the stacking abilities of Nora, congratulations to her as the quirk stacking champion with a tower of 33 quirks tall. We have a new recycling opportunity in our classroom. As you know, we have a trash can, a blue recycling bin, and a small bucket in each room. The blue recycle bin is still the place to put paper, plastic bottles, and cups and cans. But our green team is starting a new recycle. But our green team is starting a new recycle initiative in our classrooms. It's called the Hefty Renew Orange Bag Program, and there are so many new things that can now be recycled. We will be collecting these items in the buckets. You will see new orange stickers on these buckets. The sticker will look like this, and it reminds us that we can now place our old make markers and glue sticks, empty chip bags, candy, and granola bar wrappers. Rinsed out foam cups, plates, bowls, and plastic straws, plastic forks, spoons, and knives can all go in the bucket. Remember, all food needs to be emptied from these items before they go in the bucket, but this should really eliminate all, a lot of waste here at Brown. Columbus, Ohio is one of the top recycling communities in the country, and we hope to keep even more of our trash out of the landfill. Teachers, Green Team will be checking those bins at our meetings, but if it ever fills up, feel free to send a Green Team student to the IDC to empty it into an orange bag. It's time for the Hilliard History Express with our third grade historians. As we learned, Hilliard was born, built in 1852 because John Reed Hilliard, Hilliard um, knew a train, train station would be put there. That train track went through Hilliard for many years until 1969. The train stopped transporting people. That land was turned into a bike trail, but it is, is not finished. Coda has announced a new plan to finish the bike trail all the way to Columbus. Time for the Commodore Perry Ohio History Question of the Week. Last week we asked which Ohio city was the first to use police cars. It's Akron. The first police car with an electric wagon used to pull the Akron Police Department in 1899. But there were electric cars way back in the 1800s, 104 years before Tesla was founded as a company. The wagon could reach 16 miles per hour and travel up to 30 miles before its battery needed to be recharged. It helped up to 12 prisoners. So why didn't these electric wagons catch on? Horses, a common means of transportation at the time, could run twice as fast and go places the electric patrol wagon could not go. The wagon cost 2500 in 1899, that would be over 90000 in today's money, about the price of a cyber truck. Akron is a beautiful city, once known as the rubber city due to it being home to many tire factories. Here's this week's question. What are the names of the rivers that meet together in downtown Columbus, Ohio? It's time to celebrate the birthdays from November 14th through November 20th. Head to the office to receive your birthday pencil.